Look, these two images go viral to humiliate Michelle Obama. Just look at the clothes that Melania wears, compared to Michelle's horrid attire, and you can tell in an instant who is classier. Money is not an excuse, Michelle just has no class whatsoever. Tell Me Now reports that Dolce and Gabbani have been under fire from the left for making clothes for Melania, now they are getting the last laugh. The crazy part about all of this is that other designers have turned the first lady down. You would think that politics wouldn't matter when clothes cost that much, but apparently to some people, politics matter more than running their company. Dolce and Gabbana not only makes clothes for the first lady but they also proudly show them off on their Instagram account for the world to see. As you can probably imagine, the Deems think that showing off the first lady is the most offensive thing that has ever happened. Instead, of simply not shopping with Dolce and Gabbana, they are planning a full force boycott. The clothing company decided that it would be a good time to have a little fun with the liberals. The company created some boycott Dolce and Gabbana t-shirts for a whopping $245. The best part? People are eating them up. How funny is it that the left is protesting the clothing company by buying their boycott shirts from their website? The left doesn't think things through very well, do they? They get so caught up in their faux hatred for the president and the first lady that they are willing to give money to the very company that they want to boycott. Of course, there are people who find humor in the left getting annihilated, so they buy the shirts for the cheap laugh. This story is further proof that the left has lost their minds. There is a real issue with their thought process when they protest a clothing company for simply making clothes for the wife of a president. There is no way someone can be legitimately this angry over something so trivial. We are surprised they haven't also tried to boycott her makeup company of choice. They could just as easily go after the people who make her socks. See how absurd it all sounds? What happened to the left-wing women who were whining that Melania looked like she was abused by Trump? Remember, the ones who said that she showed clear signs of physical and mental abuse? Suddenly none of that matters anymore. Liberals are a joke. They always have been, and this shows that they always will be. There is no hope for them to get better. If anything, they will only get worse until they end up imploding from all of their contradictions and hypocritical behavior. When they do mentally crash, it is going to be a great day for the patriots of this country. Share this post if you are proud of First Lady Melania.